Hey guys, today I want to show you a few useful tools in After Effects that can greatly simplify keyframing and controlling complex effects. Let's assume you've created a complex disintegration effect. This effect will likely consist of quite a number of different layers, each with its own effects or keyframe to work together. If you want to change, for example, the duration of this effect, the keyframes for all of those layers would have to be adjusted. Now, a smarter way to set this up is to use expression controls. Expression controls are simple controls such as checkboxes, sliders, color selectors, angle controls and the like that you can add to your composition. You can then bind the value of these controls to as many effect parameters as you want to and then by animating a simple slider you can control a large number of effects all at once. For example, for the disintegration effect, assume you have expression control set up for particle blur, angle of disintegration and mm, yeah let's go with the blue for the burn color. Expression controls take very little effort to set up but can save you a huge amount of time if you actually need to adjust your complex effect. Now let's get started with the tutorial. Here's a slightly simplified version of the disintegration effect from the intro. The effect consists of a few adjustment layers, three layers with linear wipes, a light layer and some particles. Notice that we already have a fairly large number of keyframes to manage this rather simple effect. Let's make it easier to control these parameters by using expression controls. First, create a new solid by selecting layer, new, solid. I'm going to call mine control. As we don't need to see the layer, turn off the visibility. Now, in the Effects and Presets tab, you will find a group called Expression Controls. Within that group are all sorts of controls. Sliders, checkboxes, color controls and more. They all work on exactly the same principle, so if you understand how one of them works, you will be able to use any of them. For now, let's select the slider effect and drag it onto our control layer. If you expand the layer properties, you will find the newly added slider control effect. You can freely change or keyframe its value. However, since it isn't linked to anything yet, it does not have any effect. Let's link the value of this slider to the completion percentage of all our three linear wipes. First, hide the particle and light layers as we don't need to worry about them for now. Then, go to the first layer that contains the linear wipe effect. Notice that I have also added a few additional effects like turbulence to make the wipes look a little bit more interesting. Expand the layer properties to expose the transition completion parameter of the linear wipe effect. Disable the keyframes by clicking onto the stopwatch icon once. Then, enable expressions for this parameter by alt clicking onto the same stopwatch icon again. Notice that we are now asked to enter an expression. You can get really fancy here and do many cool things, but for now, let's simply tie the value of the transition completion parameter to the slider expression control we created earlier. Select the pick whip icon and drag it onto our slider effect. Notice that the expression changed and basically says Use the value of the slider from the control layer as completion percentage. Now if you change the value of the slider, you will see the linear wipe progress change because the slider is now linked to that parameter. We are going to repeat this process for the second layer with the linear wipe. Notice that this wipe is much wider and controls the displacement effect. Again, expand the properties, remove the keyframes for the transition completion parameter and enable its expression by alt clicking onto the stopwatch icon. As before, Drag the pick whip icon onto the slider effect to link the parameter to the slider value. I'm also going to add a minus 2 to the end of the expression as I want this linear wipe to lag a little bit behind the others. As expected, the slider now also controls this wipe effect. We once again repeat this process for the last layer with the wipe effect. Now that the slider is linked up to all three wipe effects, we can control and keyframe our disintegration wipe with this single expression control. Let's do the same with the wipe angle. Drag the angle control effect from the effects and presets panel onto the control layer. As we did with the transition completion parameter, link the angle of all the linear wipes to this expression control. Again you can see the power of these controls as a single angle selector now lets us change the angle for all the disintegration wipes. I'm not going to go into all the dirty details, but you can use the exact same method to link up the particle count, emitter size, the light position and opacity, and even the light and particle colors to different expression controls. 
Then, by keyframing the expression controls, you can manage a large number of effect parameters all at once. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and don't worry, I'm planning on covering some more advanced expressions soon. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, please leave them in the section below. And please subscribe for more cool videos coming soon. Until next time, I will see you later.